I'm gonna try and take popular horror characters from movies and games and turn them into Lego, and then even build four custom Lego sets for them to live in. Okay, now there's a lot of scary characters, creepy clowns, creepy monsters, my math teacher, but the first thing that we're gonna make is Five Nights at Freddy's, so I spent $30 on some parts to build the squad. So starting off with Freddy himself, I built my boy's entire body with this awesome headpiece on top, and then I gave him a mic so that he can freestyle. And it definitely looks a lot better than this custom brick built one I tried to make in the past. And after Freddy, I built a figure of Chica with this creepy cupcake she's holding, Bonnie with a guitar, Toy Bonnie which is just a blue version of Bonnie, my favorite figure Foxy who has an eye patch and a pirate hook, and finally Golden Freddy. And here's the Five Nights at Freddy's squad, they turned out looking really good, so drop a comment if you'd pull up to their concert. Now that we have Five Nights at Freddy's figures, I'm gonna make a stage for them to perform in. So first. I built this gray base. Okay, now that we got this base, it's time to build a floor to put the stage on. So I grabbed my tile pieces and dug through the endless bins to find enough black and white ones to build this pattern that looks like a chessboard. Then I started to build up the stage itself by making this brown platform and then adding transparent pieces to build this glass pillar going around the whole thing. Then to finish up the stage, I stole these red door pieces from a Ninjago temple and used them as a fancy red backdrop. Then I added some colorful lights on top and now I think it's time to move in the squad. Now we got the squad on stage, but it's still not done. I mean, look at this audience. Bruh. It's more empty than when a TikToker does a fan meetup. So I built up some high chairs in the front so that figures can get front row seating to the concert and then made some tables on the side with pizza. And now it looks like it's ready to throw a party. So I added in a bunch of the other horror figures to chill out, eat some pizza, listen to some music before engaging in an actual fight later in the video. <laughs> Okay, now that we got a bunch of stuffed animals playing music, I'm gonna make horror movie characters. So I bought some specialized parts off the internet, and now it's time to build. Now we have a bunch of characters that are a lot better than what you can make with normal Lego parts, so let's take a look at them. First, I built up Ghostface from Scream with his black robe, this giant custom cape piece, his creepy white mask, and of course his black hood so that he could sneak around. And to complete the figure, I gave him his knife so that now he could sneak up on you and have a fun time. Next, another horror movie that I genuinely got nightmares from growing up was Child's Play. If you haven't seen it, it's pretty much a movie where a doll terrorizes people, so I'm gonna try and build the main doll, Chucky, my 9 year old self's number one enemy. I smashed together the blue fit that he has in the movie, and then added the creepy head and hair, and it's already giving me PTSD, but it's not done yet, because I also had to give him a weapon, and now it's game over. Imagine waking up and seeing this. Okay, now it's time for another build. This time, I'm gonna build the back rooms, which is pretty much this creepy infinite room that people get stuck in. So I grabbed a tan base and started building some walls. And after the most repetitive building of my life, I finished the back rooms. It's got a bunch of hallways, openings, creepy dead ends, but it's still not scary enough. So I'm gonna build one of the villains that lives in the back room, the Bacteria Entity. So I spent an hour finding a bunch of random black pieces and connecting them together to form a shape. And the finished product kind of looks like someone who's never eaten food in their life. So I added him to his new home and finished the set. Subscriber, I'll teleport you inside. <laughs> Okay, next, let's build Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th on Friday the 13th in real life. I built him with tin jacket that have blood and scars all over them from him terrorizing everyone. And then I gave him this head with this hockey mask that he wears to cover his face. And just from that, he already looks really creepy, but it's not complete without giving him his machete so that now he's ready to fight any of these other figures if they get in his way in the haunted house. Now for the sixth figure in the series, I'm building Michael Myers from Halloween, who's pretty much this serial killer that wears a white mask, so he's gonna fit right in with everyone else. I gave him this blue leg and torso piece that has a bunch of pockets in it, his creepy white mask that he uses to cover his face, and this dark brown hair piece that matches how he looks. And then I also gave him a knife as an accessory so he's ready to fight off anyone in his path. Okay, next, I'm gonna build Slenderman, who's pretty much this super long skinny guy with no face. Okay, but right now, he is way too short to be Slenderman. So I added a brick inside of his body to extend him. Okay, now he's tall enough, but there's still something he's missing. Slenderman also has these giant tentacles that come out of his body, so I built up this neck piece with these creepy looking long things and added it to his body. They should put him in the NBA. He's so tall, he's got six hands. He'd be a monster. <laughs> Next, from a classic horror movie, I made Freddy Krueger, with his striped sweater, his claw that he uses to attack people, and then this super detailed face piece that looks more wrinkled than an old person after being in the pool for three hours. If you're not already scared by him staring into your soul, then don't worry, you will be soon. Because one of the scariest things in the world is creepy clowns, and the next figure I made is Pennywise from It. Easily one of the creepiest characters in all of horror, so I built him up using some clown drip, his head, and a red hair piece, and then gave him his red balloon that he's always holding. And now that we have a creepy clown ready to scare people, I'm gonna build him the third Lego set by making the storm drain that he lives in it scares kids from. So I grabbed a gay, I mean a gray base, and built it up. 
and then added in some tiles for the road and built up the curb that Pennywise is going to peep through. I also added some grass on the other side and made the road drippy with some transparent pieces because in the scene it was pouring rain. And then I built up a figure of Georgie with his yellow outfit and added him into the road. And it didn't take long for Pennywise to be summoned in and he started to talk to the kid. Let's just hope he doesn't get any closer because then- OH CRAP HE'S hey. DEAD! <laughs> Alright, next, I built the Demogorgon from Stranger Things, using Lego's official minifigure. Just kidding, you think I'm gonna use this puny little Demogorgon? No, this is our Demogorgon. It looks so much more menacing and creepy compared to Lego ones, that head looks like it came straight out of the sewer, and since this guy's a straight up menace in the show, he might just cause a lot of chaos when we build the haunted house. Okay, next, another movie that was pretty creepy is the Joker with this guy in the red suit. So I copped a figure of him with the fancy red suit that's probably straight out of the Gucky store, and then I added on his clown face and green hair. The figure honestly looks really good and accurate to the movie, and I also gave him this tiny pistol that he can use. Next, I built another clown called Twisty the Clown. This guy kind of looks like the Walmart version of Pennywise, and the face is probably one of the scariest things I've ever seen in my life. Next, I built the villain from The Shining, Jack Torrance, and I gave him this bloody axe piece, and he looks super angry and ready to fight and break into that haunted house. Next, here's a horror character I built called Pinhead, whose face is literally made of pins. Imagine punching him in the face. Next, here's a figure of Billy the Puppet from Saw with his suit, his creepy face, and the saw that he's gonna use to fight in the haunted house. Next, here's Leatherface, who's pretty much this angry guy holding a chainsaw, and here's the Lego figure of him with the chainsaw piece. <laughs> Okay, now we have all of the figures. So for the fourth and final build, I'm gonna build a haunted house for everyone to move into and fight each other. So I grabbed the base plate and built the shape of an island so that once you're in the house, you can't leave. Next, I'm gonna build a dirt patch for a haunted graveyard next to the house. So I added in tombstone number one, tombstone number two, and tombstone number three, and a dead guy who couldn't afford one for their body. Bruh. But while I was finishing up the graveyard, Freddy Cougar and Jason pulled up to fight each other in it. Okay, while they keep doing that, I'm gonna build the haunted house. I only have one pumpkin piece, so he's gonna be lonely. So now that we added in a pumpkin that's lonelier than me, I'm building this entranceway in the front with dead plants and torches to make it look creepy, but not nearly as creepy as what's gonna happen inside. So then I made walls around the house to make sure that no one could escape. And now I'm gonna make an inside room for all of the figures to party in. I remade the Five Nights at Freddy's stage so that there could be some music while everyone fights, and then added in some chairs that have spikes on them, the head of a snake that's just hanging on top, and two creepy statues on the sides. And finally, I added a door to the back to recreate the Here's Johnny scene from The Shining, where our Jack Torrance minifigure breaks through a door with his axe. Here's Johnny. And now that we've got everything set up for a party inside, I grabbed the rest of our horror figures and spawned them into the house, and immediately people started fighting each other. And to prevent anyone from escaping and running away from their fight, I added this black roof on top and attached this creepy candle to the front, and then added in this tree in the back because I thought it looked cool and creepy. And after that, I added in the rest of our horror figures around the island, and now with all of these menaces stuck on the island, it's gonna be crazy. And immediately everyone started fighting it out, so before they jump through the screen and drag you in, kindly tap that subscribe button down below or I'll send all of these guys to your house. Especially that guy right there.